Can a performance air filter really improve the horsepower in your vehicle compared with a standard air filter like this? In this video, we're going to find out. How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to be doing dyno run tests to see if a performance air filter can give you much of a horsepower increase compared to a stock air filter. Just out of curiosity, we're also going to be doing a dyno run with no air filter at all included. So let's get into it. So how this video all came about is because Ryko Air Filters has released a new air filter called the Performance O2 Rush. A mate of mine recently purchased that one and we decided that we were going to find out if it really made a difference to his vehicle or not. So the vehicle in question is a Holden Cronin uh, VZ SS uh, 6 liter V8 engine. Now it's completely stock, he has no performance mods as it is and he just wanted to try out to see if this small additional um, performance mod would make much of a difference to his horsepower and then later on if he, if he sees a difference in his fuel economy. So I'm not going to take it out all the way just yet because I'm not ready to install it tonight but you can get a clear view of the type of foam. If you look at my finger you'll see that it's already all oiled up and it's ready to be installed. So very different, it's just like a sponge, that type of material. I've never seen a, an air filter design like this before. I don't know if there's any competitors that has a similar type to this but uh, very interested to see the before and after results of this. So in this video you're going to be seeing back to back dyno runs. They're going to be uh, all the same parameters, uh, temperature and all get the similar amount of runs. We are going to be picking the highest run from each one of those dynos and it's going to run like this. The very first one is going to be the stock OE one. Uh, it's a little bit dirty, it's been in there for a while, but that is going to be our base one. The next dyno run is going to be without an air filter at all. You're going to be seeing the results of that. And lastly, we're going to be putting in the O2 Rush performance air filter. And we're going to see if there is much of a difference between no filter, a stock filter, and this performance air filter. Okay, so to keep this test as accurate as possible within the parameters we're doing it, we decided we would do multiple um, dyno runs on each particular test. Uh, we done multiple runs with no air filter, multiple runs with the stock one, and multiple runs with the performance one. Then we picked the highest brake horsepower achieved in any of those runs as our result and we had the vehicle all warmed up before we arrived at the diner to get these uh, tests done. Now the very first one that we done was with the stock OE filter. As I said earlier, I've been in the vehicle a little while, but the results of run one. So, uh, I think we've done four or five uh, passes on this and it got 288 horsepower was the highest result achieved on the very first run. We then went ahead and removed that filter altogether. We put the uh, air box back together, it had no more filter in it at all. And the results of this, which was something I was very interested to find out because I hadn't seen a dyno run with no air filter done before was 292.5 brake horsepower was the highest run that we achieved on that particular one. An increase of 4.5 brake horsepower with no air filter fitted at all. So that was quite a good improvement. Uh, and then we were on to the last test which was the performance air filter. Now what do you guys think before I give out the results in this? Is it going to be a bit less than no air filter? Is it going to be the same as stock? Do you think it's going to improve it much? We were having a little bit of a debate while we were waiting on the results and it got 293.9 was the highest run that the performance air filter done. 
So from the stock one, it had an increase of 5.9 horsepower. Um, a very surprising result um, that we've seen an increase of 1.4 horsepower better than no air filter at all. And uh, it was the best result out of all the three tests that we've done. Now, Ryko had uh, some claims of around that type of horsepower improvement from a stock filter, so it did back that up. And uh, we achieved uh, very good results from that. So there you have it guys, a genuine increase in horsepower just by changing your air filter and the most surprising result was we've seen an improvement from no air filter to the actual performance air filter or to rush that we put in. Uh, if you have any performance air filters that you'd recommend, if you have any thoughts on this particular test, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. My mate who ran this test will be following up on fuel economy over the next number of months. As the results come in, if there is any change to the uh, standard one, I will be posting them down as an update in the comment section, so check back in for that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it uh, informative. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.